Hello everyone. Um, today I wanted to show um, you how to make olele. It's a, it's a bean cake that we make in Gambia. Um, the Nigerians have their one. Um, is it Amala? Okay, I've heard so much about this and when I checked on YouTube I saw that you have a completely different way of making it. Um, our one I had always thought was similar to yours but um, I don't think so after all because I've seen you put egg in it and one main ingredient in ours which is palm, palm oil but you guys don't use it and again um, I guess the way that we actually cook it. Um, this is our one. This is the bean itself, the black eye bean. I'm very proud of this today because usually um, I just buy the powder one in the shops. I'm sure you all know it. But yes, our mothers and the elders will tell us that they have other powders in that packet itself, not just the bean. You know how they do it to make money. So what I did today was I bought um, the packet of black eye beans just as you do, 500 grams or a kilo. This is actually a kilo, two 500 gram packets. And I soaked it. And um, it got very confusing, so I'm not going to go into it because I haven't showed you how to make it. I did it by instruction, step by step, calling and calling to find out everything, and this is what it is. So if you do have the powder, that's what you'd basically do. Put your powder in the bowl and mix it with water. Try and get this consistency. And I might add, add a little water here later. I'm not too sure yet. And um, yes, yeah, so that's the black eye beans. Um, this is the fish. We use two types, always two types. This is the smoked fish up there. And this is the fresh fish. I'm using here, this is haddock and this is pollock. Um, in Gambia, we have a specific smoked fish that you would always use for this. It's really, really cheap, but it's the best flavor. It's actually the smoked fish we use in almost every cooking that we cook with smoked fish. Gambia, they really tend to have just two kinds of smoked fish, which is that um, itself and another one, which is catfish. And yes, that's it. Um, okay, so these are the two types of fishes. As you can see, I'm using quite an amount of everything here because I end up having to give my family and so on. Okay, so this is it, the fish. The next thing is the aubergines. And you'd cut them. Basically, this is how I've cut everything, really. It's quite um, large. Because with the aubergines, you might think, oh, that's big. But the thing is, when you eat um, the olive itself, you'd find that it's really nice with it. So when you eat little bits, it's almost like you'd be wanting more. So I find, after all, that I've, I like it better when it's whole like this, so when it's big like this. And this is the next ingredient, onions. Again, cut them into cubes like that. This is frozen. I can be very lazy with onions. I do cut quite a bit and leave them in my freezer. So that's the onions there. And this is the pepper. You can use scotch bonnet peppers, and that's what I usually use. But this time I just went for the um, long chilies, the red ones, the hot ones. I was in a hurry and didn't bought that. It's the same. It's very hot. Trust me, it's the same. And um, this is the Maggi cubes. I'm going to put some Maggi in it. Not too much, because you'd find with oil there, um, you don't want to put too, too much Maggi. Salt, just taste it, salt it to taste. So that's the salt, and this is the palm oil. And because this one, I put that in the microwave so I can see how much I actually need rather than putting that um, and it's not like liquid like this. It helps you know better how much you need. So that's it. Black eye beans, fish, smoked and fresh, aubergines, onions, pepper, and um, the palm oil. The palm oil, sorry. <laughs> And then salt. We don't put curry, um, oregano, herbs, nothing like that. This is it. Just salt. Not even black pepper either. And so what happens, you mix 
and then this is the packaging we put it in. This is foil. I'm using this foil, and I make them into little cases, and then you pop it in here. And after you pop it in here, this is the um, how we steam it. That's the pot there with water, basically half. And this is the steamer. Is it called a steamer? I call it a steamer. And that's it. You put it inside, and then just make sure you have something to cover it. And um, that's it in there. This is one I'm making because I always make one. See Sorry. I always make one, taste it for salt and for other ingredients like the palm oil, is it enough? And the pepper, is it too hot or not? And that's it basically. Oh, we're steaming up the camera here. Yes. Um, and this is fantastic. Now I hope all of you out there try it. I hope the ingredients are simple enough. Very easy to access. Especially now in the summer, aubergines are quite cheap. Because I find you get them um, in other seasons, they can actually be a little bit expensive, aren't they? Like one. Just the one medium would cost you about a pound. I bought all of this for one pound yesterday. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to do another video when I'll be just mixing the ingredients, everything in here, and show you. Maybe you'd like to know just how much I am putting in there. And uh, yes, the other video will be putting everything in here and then taking it to the steamer. And yeah, I will open up the one I'm cooking there now to show you how it turns out. So there you have it. This is Olele. It's a Gambian bean cake snack. Thank you. Hello guys. So this is the Olele again and this is the video to show you just how I'm going to put it in here. Before we go any further, I might just have to say that um, I might not be able to show you how it turns out in the end. In fact, I'll show you how it turns out in, in the end, but it's not what I would have wanted you to see because it won't be perfect. Reason being, it still needs longer to cook, and that is because I think I'm making it today like really authentic and not using the powder, so this is taking longer to cook. And... Um, it's a bit late today, as you can tell, you can hear I have a baby, and this is just one of them. She's 14 months, the other one is four, she's in her room. It's quite late, and I just wanted to do this, um, yes, and just get on with it, really. I really do hope you have the idea, anyway, and should you need any further help or to ask, yes, please just um, send me a message, and I will tell you what you want to know. So again, this is the black eye beans, the fish, the aubergine, um, the onions, the peppers, the palm oil, and maggi and salt. And that's it. Okay, so I'm going to put the fish in. And um, with the fish, I'm just going to put everything really, because I don't think you can have too much. Well, you can, but I think this will be okay with mine. So I'm just going to pop everything inside. Um, so that's the fish in there. Little neck. And at this stage, I think I want to put the salt and the maggie because um, you can then have it. Um, dissolve properly. Should have even put it before the fish, really. And again, the maggie, it's not really, don't use it as salt itself, um, although it does um, constitute salt, doesn't it? But it's just flavor, because maggie does have a lot of flavor. And uh, what you don't want is the maggi to color it, because maggi does do that to food. So, I'm just going to put... Oh, and guys, please don't be irritated. I'm using my mobile phone to record this. 
because I haven't figured out yet how to use my camcorder. I've had the camcorder for years, seven years being it, but um, what I mean is to, I've lost the wires, the USB for it. Okay, so that's the Maggie. So what's gone in here at the moment is the fish, the salt, and the Maggie. Um, next, I'm just going to pop in the onions. And, yeah, don't think about the onions. Oh, that's a bit too much because, again, it's a brilliant flavor when you eat it. You'll realize. And even without actually getting a bite of it when you're eating it, what you see is just onions. You know, we use it to cook everything. So, yeah, it's really important that you all have onions and enough of it as well. So, okay, and then the pepper. I've actually tasted that one a little bit and I don't think it's too hot. So I've just put in all my pepper in there. And that's it. And now the aubergines. And I mentioned in the other video I might add a little bit water to here that I wasn't too sure yet. What I definitely won't be doing is adding water because I tasted that one. And it, not only the taste, by the looks of it, I think um, I shouldn't add water because it's not forming as I hope it, sh it would. Although, having said that, it's probably just not cooked yet, that's why. So, okay, that's it. Just one last ingredient to go, and that's the main one. So, that's the palm oil. And, yeah, with the color, you just have to um, see yourself what you think. And, like I said, always do one and test it. That's why I really need to show you the one I'm cooking so you'll know what it should look like color-wise as well. Because um, if it doesn't look the way it should color-wise, that means you're losing out on taste of it because the palm oil is really important with it. Already you can see that I need a lot more, so I'm just going to put all of it now. Yep. Okay, so that's it. Okay, the colors are looking better. And at this stage, I could say, all right, I'll leave it and test one and see if that's okay. And should it need more, I'll say it won't be a lot more it would need, just a little bit more palm oil. So, yeah, I'm happy with this one. So I'm going to have to test to see if I need more or not. And although I've made this quite a few times now, not too many actually. I think this is my fourth, third or fourth, definitely. Okay, every time I'm, I make it, I end up trying out three, four maybe, <laughs> to check for salt, fish, anything, just to get it the way I like. So that's it. Yeah. We've mixed everything. And I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, it's dark, so we're only having the indoor lights for you to see, and the colors and stuff.
Okay, I'm just going to go over now to the one I've been cooking here. And the sh oh, keep doing this. Sorry, guys. And show you. This is it. Okay, let me take it out. Oh, you see, it's definitely not ready yet. I'm just going to leave it here because it should be a lot more solid when you take it out. So that's usually how it looks. I hope it doesn't look too terrible. With this one, I can definitely tell it needs more palm oil. And it shouldn't be like, this is not how it is. It should be like a pie when you take it out. But this needs to cook more. That's the problem. Yeah, definitely needs to cook more. Okay. That is it. I'm slightly disappointed. Really wanted to to show you the outcome, but I'm sure you will do a much better job than I have done just now. <laughs> so thank you once again, everyone. Bye. <laughs>